I don't believe there can be. I look. If you're famous and, you know, the, the, the Josh Whedon or the Zach Braff kind of thing where you could just turn it on because people know who you are, um, sure, you know, people are going to back you because they know you. But that is part of, there was a time where those people had to crowdsource an audience just as well. They've just carried it forward to the point now where they're a brand. Zach Braff is a brand. Josh Whedon's a brand. Um, but for the first time filmmaker, um, the first time crowd sourcer the answer in my opinion is no unless you have friends and family of course that are going to donate the whole thing which in that case you really don't need the crowdfunding aspect of it but the whole idea behind crowdfunding is that you're sourcing an audience and that's why i don't believe that that's the case if you look again we talked about mile and mile and a half or any of these other examples even that are in the book where there was a crowdfunding aspect you'll see that the common denominator was well before they launched that campaign, they went out and sourced this audience and got them so riled up and gave them ownership of this project to the point where they said, hey, listen, in a few months, we're going to turn this thing on. Will you take this journey with us? And that's what a really good crowdfunding campaign manager or a person running a crowdfunding campaign, once they identify, engage that audience and engage that audience, they get them to the point where they say, you know, will you take this journey with us? It's not, will you donate? Will you, will you take this ride with us? And if you get people to that point, that's when they want to jump in with you. So I don't believe, I think it's the biggest mistake that people who run crowdfunding campaigns make. And I think it's the reason why so many crowdfunding campaigns fail is because they're not sourcing for months before uh, they start the campaign. And then what ends up happening is they get into desperation mode. You know, they find themselves three weeks in and they're at like 20% of their goal and then they go into social media and then they start DMing you and saying, hey, please back. Doesn't work. It doesn't work. I've had so many people that have hit me up that, you know, you don't have a relationship with them and they just hit you up and they DM you and they're like, oh, you gotta check out this project. And then you go and you look at it and you know, they're in week three and they're at like 7% of their goal. And you could see why, because the strategy is wrong. The people that win the day, and look, I have friends at Indiegogo, I have friends at Kickstarter, I have campaign manager friends that this is what they do for a living. And when they get involved in the project or when the people that head up the film departments at Indiegogo or Kickstarter get behind the project, or even, doesn't even have to be film, when they get behind a tech project, a tech product, they all say the same thing. Don't run before you can walk. Don't press that launch button yet. We're going to spend three to six months building an audience for this, getting people excited about it, get, giving people ownership of it, okay? And then we're going to move. Why do you think the reason why so many tech products do better or the tech product uh, crowdfunding campaigns do better than film on a s success average? The reason is people get excited about the product. People that, run, that own these products ask what features do you want to see? What else are we missing? What do we, and then what do they give them? They let them pre-order it. So they, they want it. It's tangible. But for a film, it's not tangible. What's tangible is the fact that you feel like you're a part of it, that you feel like you're involved in it, that you feel like you're on set with them when they go to start filming. You know what I mean? Like you're part of this thing. I backed that thing and I'm proud of it. That doesn't happen when you just throw up a campaign and then start asking people that you don't know who have no investment and no involvement with you to donate. So yeah, you know, I don't believe that you could have a successful crowdfunding campaign without crowdsourcing. It just doesn't work.